Welcome back to another episode of Beho Reviews in Gaming and Entertainment. In this episode, we take a look back once again to the Sega Dreamcast. Games that also made the Dreamcast very popular were the shooters. Just like on a Sega Saturn, the Dreamcast also enjoyed its time with shooters. Being way more on the power side, the Dreamcast was able to produce some of the most intense shooters with very little slowdown, creating even more tension. Cannon Spike, released by Capcom in 2000. This arcade port featured fun characters from Capcom's library from Arthur in Ghosts and Goblins, Cammy and Charlie from Street Fighter, to even Mega Man. I never knew if there was really a story except stopping the bad guy, but this game is reminiscent to Smash TV with better graphics and chaos. Two-player multiplayer made this game a must-have on the Dreamcast. Rainbow Cotton was released in 2000 by Success Corporation and plays like Space Harrier in 3D setting in comparison to its 2D roots. Addicted to the magical candy Willow, the game has Cotton beat level to level in hopes that she would get more magical candy. The game is similar to other rail shooters like Star Fox for the Super Nintendo and Panzer Dragoon for the Xbox and for the Sega Saturn. <laughs> Zero Gunner was released in 2001 by Psycho, and this is a 3D multi-directional shooter. It is up to the player to change direction of the shooting and also avoid enemy fire at the same time. The game is more about the boss fights as the levels might be 1 to 2 minutes before the boss appears. Very intense and beautiful game where you need to capture the video so that you can enjoy the visuals without being in the game constantly dodging enemy fire. Propeller Arena, developed by AM2, was never released due to the events of 9-11 in the U.S. Years later, the game was made available for free download, and boy, is this game a gem. Meant to be played online, the game is an arcade-style arena-based action shooter. You will fly many different arenas to shoot down as many possible targets before time runs out. The player with the most kills will win the stage. Zombie Revenge was released in 1999 by Sega as a spin-off of House of the Dead. The game is a shooter at heart with a little beat-em-up bashing when you run out of ammo. Very simplistic game where you need to beat all the enemies before time expires and progress to the story or the next section of the game. Very bland game was made in the arcades and ported over very easily. The game was just that, an arcade perfect port with little or no added bells or whistles. That's it for me on this episode of Beho Reviews. Please like and subscribe if you like my videos. Beho out and Greg, take us out of here. <laughs> 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 Damn.